Today we're in Eamon DC Park talking to Noel Connolly who's the head groundsman here. We're going to talk to him about the maintenance of the pitch and how difficult that can be at this time of year. So what's your background in pitch maintenance? Um, well, I'm here in Terryland since 1995. Um, my background was in general volunteering with the club initially and uh, when the pitch was relayed in 94 or 95 period uh, I was volunteer helping out on the ground and they put someone in place full time because they needed someone to look after the ground professionally. So I uh, took on that role in 95 and um, since then I just trained and upped my skills, did a lot of courses, some in England, some in Ireland and um, members of uh, ground associations and stuff like that. So I pick up a lot of information through that. What goes into maintaining this pitch? Uh, generally it's week to week. Um, a lot of um, programs we work out with fertilizer companies, sandings, verti draining and uh, general cutting and machinery all the time on it, you know. I have a good staff here of FOSS employees who learn the different um, techniques used to look after a high quality pitch. Uh, we'd have an average of three here most days and uh, they go on and learn a lot about how to look after the ground properly, you know, and we're turning over them year on year so I get a lot of staff coming through that learn the trade here as well. Okay. And what are, what are the difficulties involved? Uh, difficulties obviously is uh, the number of games played on the pitch and um, you know during Mar April, March and working back into February we have a lot of games with local finals and um, we, have League of Ar we have League of Ireland starting around that time so you have, you have a lot of pre-season stuff so the pitch is in big demand during February, March and April and um, it's just trying to keep the ground good going into the summer. Uh, that's the biggest problem we have is the number of games played and the, they're all kind of squashed into that period of time. Are there many matches played here besides Galway FC? Of course, yeah. We'd have an average of 100 games a year. Um, 20, 20 of those would be Galway FC on average and the rest then is made up of local cup finals, schools finals, uh, some international games occasionally and like likes of last week we had the Irish Defence Forces against the Dutch Defence Forces so you have games like that thrown in as well. So um, yeah, there's quite a demand on a lot, a lot of games. You've got a, a lot of trial games and training underage over the summer. We have a lot of local, f local small sided games. So it's a big variation. And as well as that, we have also all the ladies, which is grown in Galway as well. We we have a community employment project that's based here in Terryland, out of the office, and that's expanded out into the community. Uh, in the last ten years, uh, we have staff in up in the uh, Connacht Rugby Sports Ground. Merview United, St James's GA Club in Merview as well as East United Soccer Club. Um, so between all those we have other ground staff as well that are, they sometimes come down here as well to learn what they need to be doing up there. And I also have um, my own company that does some consultancy work with other other clubs around Connacht and, and the region as well, you know. Okay. And what's the name of the company? Uh, Sportsfield Markings and Services. Yeah, we do uh, pitch markings as well in the city and, and we supply pitch marking paint and, and equipment for pitch markings. Yeah.